I wouldn't call this like spectacular, but uh, it's some of my best pool noodle work. It's like seven trucks in the ditch here in the last mile. This boy's just popping his door open, so I'm thinking that one, that one just happened right now. Yeah, he's just piling out and surveying the wreckage. That's a bad deal right there. I bet he is unhappy. Well, as you guys can see in the mirror, we've had a sad end. Wisconsin, St. Croix County. We gotta say it loud and let's do this. Yeah. So where has country life been? Uh, I've been busy. I've been <laughs> I gotta work the day job too, you know. Uh so I could probably show you a little outtake of the video, but here's the interesting thing. We went to do a will it start on this thing. We got it from Eastern Washington. It'd been sitting on a defunct watermelon farm 20 years. You guys can see. It's a pretty clean truck, right? Um, it's straight. I'm going to show you. I've had... Uh, will it starts are a lot of fun, right? The, the reason we're not going to do the will it start on this thing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you right now. For, for demonstration purposes. Right? Ugh, sorry. I'm going to grab the manifold. It's ice cold. Okay. So, ice cold. Listen to your audio. So that's it. You saw it. I wanted to do it. Will it start on it? I put fuel in the fuel filter. I checked the rack for one second. I touched the key and it started. There was literally no will it start to do. However, this thing is so out of tune, it's running on about 100 horse. And what we've done is we have... installed a hitch which I guess I could have made a video out of it but uh, this is gonna haul back to Wisconsin here in a couple weeks which I will share with you guys the video and it's gonna it's gonna pull our little hunting camp with it it's gonna pull our little outdoor farm camp with it so I'll update you as we progress
I got one loose. You got one loose? Yeah. You don't think the valve cover's ever been off? It has yeah. to have been. Because it's so much fun to get it off. But it has to have been off at least once. Why? Why would you take the valve cover off of this motor in this truck? I have no idea. Draw me a picture. Draw me a picture. These are because they knock the paint off of them. So that's why you know it's never been off, is because all the off. paint's on the knobs. Yeah. If it was off, it wasn't off for, for much because it, see, and there's no jake in there either. No jake means, oh, we don't have to take the cover off every week to fix the jake wires. Yeah. Come on, baby. Give up. Yeehaw. This valve cover gasket's a piece of carbon now. <laughs> Been on there a wee while? A wee while. Come on, baby. This is just nasty. So, I'm going to set this down here for the moment. Nothing obviously weird. Nothing obviously weird? Yeah, I might as well check the rocker before I get too far into this. Looks pretty normal. Oh. Nothing like. You're just checking to see if the rocker pins are out of it? Oh uh, yeah, because uh, that gives you an idea of engine condition and hours and all that and see if it had rebuilt crap in it like every other every rocker arm would be a different experience because rebuilt stuff doesn't wear the same hole in the wall crap that'll hang there okay and so what are you doing you're taking the i'm running the high speed in and then i'm going to take the idle screw loose high speeds the high speed adjustment this will make sure that it doesn't go fluey on us later. We probably picked it up 200. It probably turns 25 now. What do you want it to turn? Wherever it won't blow up at. Ah. So the idle adjustment, you can screw it in far enough that it, it interferes with the governor gap. So what you do is you take the, the idle plunger and push it in and make sure it's still got a gap in it and it, when you push the high speed plunger back and once that works it'll, you can adjust it that far in. You got to check it every time if put the little springs in them, mm -hmm. the light springs because they become an issue. And it's going to be Yep. Ready? Yeah. You got to take that and move it because it's in the way again. I see that. That looks good right there. Governor Gap is still off a ways. <laughs> so you can tell because it's just too lazy? No, it's. It comes out there and it stops and you can fold up that 2,000 gauge about 15 times. Uh, let's see if we can... Do this without taking a header off of here. See the, the thing about setting these with the dial indicator, if the injectors are halfway good, they really run nice that way because you can... And if you get the rack right, so you're just setting, and sorry, what'd you set? Would you say you're setting it to? Uh, 1490, which is about 5,000 slow, of what it's supposed to be. And doing slow so we can start it in the winter. Well, you can't make it easier. My, one of my brothers drove one of these, and I tuned it up, and I set it up where it was supposed to be. Oh my God! You should have heard him cry. Is this? Oh, it won't start. It's got no power. It does this. It does that. And I go, hey. I put it where it's supposed to be. 
I didn't say it was right. It's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> I didn't say it was right, and I didn't say you were going to like it. Well, it's like, who's the first guy? Well, you can imagine your first big critic is going to be some of your relation. <laughs> sun's getting me so here's what I'm into right now there is I'm gonna there is this impossible dust in this thing that is <laughs> of this to make sure we didn't have any big offensive chunks and we didn't we'll pump her full through the power divider until it comes out the, the hole there that ain't gonna work I got a twist in my cord. Mm. It'd be easier if we could have done that. But no. All the other bolts are like on the outside, except for this one. All right. Well, the good news is the seats. The bad news is, this ain't gonna work. Um, I'm on the ceiling with the seat all the way down. So, so much for a comfortable ride. Uh, back to the drawing board on that one. Yeah. So you can see the, the base don't quite line up. The seat sits too far forward. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was a good idea. Huh. All right. However, I did realize if I can get this to ratchet here that the torsion bar is not. Sorry, it's hard to get this to ratchet with one hand. The torsion bar is not necessarily broken, and it may be on this seat. But, the, as you can see there, whoop, get my big meaty palm out of the way, the adjuster's spinning. It's not, uh, it's not sitting back in there like it should. See, there's a little, little, catch back in there that it's supposed to be in. I wouldn't call this like spectacular, but uh, it's some of my best pool noodle work. This is, uh, this is such an adventure. Have I mentioned, I am a uh, little dubious on the outcome here. Listen, I know we're safe. We've checked all the wheel bearings, differentials, brakes, motor, transmission, right? It's uh, it's just some of the other stuff that's a little sketch. All right. 
All right, well, here it is. Around maximum cobble, but I guess I can show you this. So we have these little heater vents for the defroster, and I had to rebuild the heater fan. Uh, I didn't really show that to you because it's pretty self-explanatory. You just take the blower off and uh, take it apart, clean it up, put it back together, runs fine, check the brushes. But the little hoses in there, which, of course, I went to like three stores to try to find two-inch hose, no such deal. Uh, so I had to make it out of dryer hose by cutting that down and then doing a little tapey tape. Uh, so yeah, uh, when I looked in the dash, the, the heater, it was just wire sitting there. The fabric was gone. So this is kind of what I love. You know, it's like if you look at doing will it starts, yes, you can make them run. Like you want to drive it? That's a different story, you know. So uh, we'll keep working on this and hopefully this will get us on the road. All right. Well, I should probably kill my light so you guys could see. It's, uh, it's 8 o'clock at night. It's 30 degrees. And uh, we're doing a oil change. I'll probably give you, while I'm down here, I'll give you an update on all that we're seeing with this. This beautiful girl. Okay. One, for some inexplicable reason, it had a hole in the exhaust that we had to do the best to weld up. It's got some leaks, as you can see. And, let me shimmy up here. It positively already drained the oil out but it positively spits oil out the blower which could be blower seals and ugh, it freely streams oil out ugh, where are they right there the air box drain when it's idling so, uh, Mr. Joe and I had a slight debate, but uh, he thinks that blowing out of there is a lot of this. So, Mr. Joe's opinion, put my headlamp back on here, is that that is due to them putting the wrong oil in here and letting it idle too much. Now, my current adventure, as you can see, is removing this filter, which I got it loose now, but I'll tell you that was a colossal, still is kind of two-handed operation. The old uh, put a hole in it trick and use a screwdriver did not work. Ah. All right, I need two hands. So. So you hear it kind of loping like that? It's because we uh, have the long, wrong idle return spring in it. But the thing I wanted to show is the battery was kind of running down. And this thing, like I said, the whole reason we didn't do the will it start on it is because the daggum thing just like popped to life. Uh, but the battery was running a little bit low. So I just wanted to do the old uh, voltmeter test to make sure that we're good. The alternator's putting out 13 and climbing, so I feel good that the alter 
sorry. I feel good that the alternator is good. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do about this chair, so I still have a spine by the time I get back to the farm. Um, that's assuming I'm not in jail or worse. But, uh, yeah. As it warms up, you can tell the idle shuts down. So, listen, this thing sounds pretty good. We just purrs. We, uh, we juiced up the rears. So, listen, I, I think we're getting fairly ready to kinda, kinda start to think about getting it going. dim so I stop and to hit the rest stop and when I tried to get going again the truck did the old clicky 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 